Biotechnology Assignment on Herbicide Resistant Crops, HRC, by Huzema Hussein. Introduction Herbicide resistant crops have been transforming the agricultural industry since the past couple of decades, specifically in North and South America. The main purpose of herbicide resistant crops is to kill surrounding weeds while not impacting or bringing harm to the crop itself. In particular, the use of glyphosate resistant crops is the most common tactic that farmers are adapting to in order to manage weeds. Weeds are unwanted to farmers as their presence is unbeneficial to the growth of crops. Weeds also absorb large amounts of nutrients and sunlight and are thus competing with crops. How it works. Herbicides are composed of chemicals which are made to kill weeds. However, sometimes the weeds can be resistant to the herbicide and the crop itself is killed. To solve this problem, genetic engineering has been introduced into the agricultural industry and it is now known as a commercial success. Once glyphosate is absorbed by the plant through soil, certain amino acids are unable to form which eventually leads to the affected plant to die. At the same time, HRC contains genes which act on the ingredients, ultimately making the her herbicide harmless to the crop. The EPSPS enzyme will be able to enter the chloroplast where photosynthesis takes place and a chloroplast transit peptide is fused together with the EPSPS coding sequence to form a glyphosate resistant crop. Glufosinate, also a non-selective herbicide, was introduced to the industry in 2009. Glufosinate inhibits a plant enzyme that is responsible for the early stages of nitrogen assimilation as well as detoxifying amino acids. Glyphosate and glufosinate. Overall, both are very similar as they provide spectrum weed control, lack soil residual activity, and alter the DNA of an organism using genetic engineering. Also, they both target enzymes in the metabolic process which hugely impacts the life of the plant, eventually killing it. The use of HRCs The only real positives of using HRCs in the agricultural industry is that farmers have a much easier time dealing with weed control. Without HRCs, it is much more difficult for farmers to employ an efficient management strategy. Overall, the use of HRCs cause pollution, are harmful to biodiversity, and are causing herbicides to become more toxic.